Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni's recent decision to appoint his son a Lieutenant General Muhuzi Kenarugaba as the head of the country's military has sparked widespread controversy and debate both within Uganda and internationally. This move is seen by many as a consolidation of power within the Museveni family raises significant questions about nepotism, institutional integrity, and the future of democracy in Uganda. Muhusi Kainerugaba's elevation to the top military position is not entirely unexpected given his rapid rise through the ranks of the Ugandan military in recent years. However, his appointment to such a critical role has intensified concerns about the concentration of power within the Museveni family and the potential for dynastic rule in Uganda. Critics argue that Muhusi Kenerugaba's appointment undermines the principles of meritocracy and fairness within the Ugandan military. They point to other qualified candidates who may have been overlooked in favor of the president's son, raising doubts about the integrity of the selection process. Additionally, this move fuels perceptions of favoritism and cronyism within the Ugandan government, eroding public trust in democratic institutions. Moreover, Muhusi Kainerugaba's appointment as head of the military raises broader questions about the state of democracy and governance in Uganda. President Museveni has been in power for over three decades, and his willingness to appoint his son to such a powerful position suggests a reluctance to relinquish control or foster political succession. This perpetuation of dynastic rule threatens the democratic aspirations of the Ugandan people and undermines efforts to promote political pluralism and accountability. Furthermore, the concentration of power within the Museveni family has implications for Uganda's stability and long-term development. By centralizing authority within a narrow circle of insiders, the government risks alienating other political factions and exacerbating social tensions. This lack of inclusivity and transparency could hinder efforts to address pressing challenges such as poverty, corruption, and human rights abuses. Internationally, Museveni's decision to appoint his son as head of the military has drawn criticism from human rights organizations and foreign governments. Many see this move as a further erosion of democratic norms and a setback for regional stability in East Africa. Uganda plays a significant role in regional security, particularly in the fight against terrorism and insurgent groups like the Lord's Resistance Army, PLRA. The perceived politicization of the military leadership could undermine Uganda's ability to effectively address security threats and cooperate with international partners. In response to criticism, supporters of President Museveni argue that Muhusi Kainerugaba is qualified for the position based on his military experience and leadership capabilities. They point to his track record of service and argue that familial ties should not disqualify him from advancement within the military hierarchy. Additionally, they contend that the president has the prerogative to appoint individuals he trusts to key positions of authority including members of his own family, however, such arguments overlook the broader implications of nepotism and dynastic rule for Uganda's democratic development. While individual qualifications are important, so too are principles of fairness, transparency, and institutional integrity. The perception of nepotism undermines confidence in the rule of law and fosters a culture of impunity where political connections matter more than competence or integrity. Looking ahead, the controversy surrounding Muhusi Kenerugaba's appointment underscores the need for robust democratic institutions and mechanisms of accountability in Uganda. Without effective checks and balances, the risk of abuse of power and authoritarianism looms large. Civil society, the media, and international partners must continue to monitor developments in Uganda closely and advocate for governance reforms that uphold democratic principles and respect the rule of law. In conclusion, President Museveni's decision to appoint his son as head of the military has ignited a firestorm of controversy and raised serious concerns about nepotism, institutional integrity, and the future of democracy in Uganda.
while supporters may argue that Muhusi Kanerugaba is qualified for the position, the broader implications of dynastic rule for Uganda's democratic development cannot be ignored. Upholding principles of fairness, transparency, and accountability is essential to safeguarding democracy and promoting stability in Uganda and the wider region.